1964, 65, I think, K.K. Ramanujan had come to Chennai. First time I was meeting him. And Girish brought him, introduced him to me. And uh, again, Canada speaking. So we went and had lunch together and very close to the College of Art where I was studying. And uh, Ramanujan was very happy to go around the college and see my work and then he said, Vasudev, I want uh, you to do the cover design for my first collection of Kannada poems. Pokkodali Hoovilla, no flower in the Nala. I said, Vajapudi. So I created all the things and I created the thing, which he appreciated very much. I used a grey colour and white lines. That's all. And all the symbols that he has used in some of the poems, I use them all symbols also. Then I was very happy. Then I had my exhibition in Chennai. He and his wife, they both came. They bought some of the works. And I met him. Then uh, he used to come to Bangalore. I moved to Bangalore in 1989 after Arnavas passed away. In, he used to come here and he used to stay with his sister. Saraja. And uh, so we used to meet either at Mirisha's place or his place. But once, he said, there is a collection of poems which I have written. I want to read them, but read them at Mirisha's place, you also come. Yeah, okay. So he read, he was a fantastic reader of any poems, and his poems really good. And, uh, one poem he said, I can't read this, you can see this. So there was what we got to call in uh, Kannada, Guru, Lagu, Guru, Lagu. It's a dash like that. And you can create your own poem in that. You can put your life, you know, words. So he said, then he came, uh, uh, yeah. Then uh, he said, will you please do a cover design? Punta Bile. Hopscotch. Then I said yes. I did a cover design which is again an yellow over with brown lines. Then I met him in Chicago. I went to Chicago. The book had just published. published. Then he met, he met me there and here we are staying in this place. He said, see, what's the name? Why don't you make it glossy then? It could have, could have used more colors. I said, Raman, your poetry is not glossy. Your poetry is black and white. What can I do? The only two colors I can use in your poetry. Oh, da, oh, da. Okay. The next time he came to India, he came to a studio here. Yeah. And he took my sketchbook and so I've done so many drawings to come to that particular one. I said, God, we do so many drawings to come to one thing. He said, yes, the way you edit your poems. You edit your poems. Since, till, till you get a precise word. So like that, I also want to get a precise line. In my opinion. Good, good, very good. In fact, we should collaborate. Shall we collaborate? You do whatever you are reacting to, whichever poems of mine you react to. When you, when you have an exhibition, I will read the poems. And again, Bada Santosha, I was so happy that he is he said this. No. So I said, okay. So I started. He died. You know, he came here. Next year he died. By the time I had done about five or six drawings. Because I had to also sort of study his drawing and you know whatever I felt which could I could really perceive and do things. Then uh, I didn't know what to do. So, but sometime I didn't do anything. So Amu said, anyway you had, you wanted to do something, why didn't you continue? So I continued the, the read whatever I felt like, his translation of his original poems, both in Kannada and English, for 40 works, including this poem, which cannot be read. I did a drawing of that poem, and then, Put Ramanujan Vasudev. 
because both of us are creators in that. So, and uh, I had an exhibition at <coughs> Sakshi Gallery in Bangalore. I just that Sakshi was here. I requested Girish Karnad, Anant Murthy, Ramchandra Sharma, and Pratibhananda Kumar. Four of them to read the poems because Pramanujan was not there. So they read the poems. And because three times they had to read the poems because gathering was so much. And people, one set of people had to go out, another set of people would come. He was so good. Now you see, he said once, he came here, Vasudev, then Mesu Kogaku, I want to meet Narsimaya there. Come, I'll try. So we went to Mysore, met Narsimaya, and uh, then, you know, he introduced me to Narsimaya and met everybody here and came back. Once he said, I must go to Chennai. I said, I can't come to Chennai because I got some other work, but I will tell my friends in Chennai to take him. He said, okay. Then he went to Chennai and he, my friends met him, Shanta and Guhan, and they took him to Mahabalipuram. On the Mahabalipuram road, there is a Thiruvada Nair. It's a very famous old village. And uh, while we driving, they had built a village house there. So they wanted to take him there. So he went and saw the temple and he said, this is the Thirumangai Alvar, Alvar poems, mainly Thirumangai Alvar has written some ten poems here on this god here. He said, and then, so Guan asked him, so do you think uh, we can get the translation in English? So next year, he comes with the translations. And then he asked me, shall we go to I said, I can't come to Chennai, you can go and meet these people. Then he, no, no, yeah, yes, I went to Chennai with him. Yeah, then we all drove to that house. He sat there, he read those ten poems. I love this. Very fantastic it was. And uh, we had a recording of that. Pritiba also had that recording. And we used it for our uh, tribute to Ramanujan exhibition. And uh, so he was like that. He had no problem that way, you know. I mean, anybody asking him, great so great. And then his stories, sometimes, you know, he would sit with him, I would get a, you know, if at all he asked me to drive him somewhere, I would be happy to do it because I would get so much information. He was like a walking encyclopedia. So much, which you can't imagine. And when I went to Chicago, there was an international exhibition there. And he said, shall we go? I said, yes. So he would sit in front of painting and he would talk. Then Ramarajan, I didn't know that you were, you knew so much about painting. And, uh, he would not say that he knew, but he knew. Because that was his strength. This problem, I mean, this particular thing, I asked Ramarajan also. I said, do you wait for inspiration to write poetry? He said, no. I, every day I type. Every day I type instead of typewriter. And three the three words. So that is it. I think, I think for that idea of for inspiration is all the very old ideas. So I think what what we are about to be working, the hands will moving. So heads will start. Head will start working once you hand in. So and uh, some of them are failures, but what you cannot. I, I can't say everything is successful. Some of them are failures. So failure. Of those failed works, I don't show. They work is folk stories. What stories he has written? The, the folk book, book of folk art, folk uh, stories. Fantastic stories. Girish made a film. Girisha. Girisha. And I got inspired by some of those stories. I somehow feel that two persons from Kannada literature background. Who should have got Ganapit besides all the others is Prabharajan and Gopal Krishna Adiga. Adiga was a revolutionary. He's, he created, uh, in fact, Lankesh, Murthy, all their new novel ideas of him Adiga. You know, completely, completely. But he was never given Vinci and Ganapit anyway. But what I'm saying is, Adigar Ramanujan should have been given one.
they didn't get it. Anyway, so Ramadan was like that. I really felt so bad that he died. He was so young, 64 or something, he died. And uh, it was too tragic, too tragic. But he was very, 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 very fantastic person. I really, he and his wife, you know, somewhere or other, she had a suspicion about him. And when I met him, met her also in Chicago, they were separated at that time. But you know, he had come to meet me there and stayed there. He said, she said, she has come only to because of your year here. And so I knew her also, Molly. And then they, she said, Vasil, you have read Yellow Fish? I said, yes. Kannada, Haldi mean. It's English translation is Yellow Fish by Ramarajan. And she said, what do you think of the, the translation? I said, it's fantastic. It's like original yellow fish. Oh, so it's so good. I always had a suspicion about his translation from my parents. So she was she was she would suspect and he would say, see, Vasudev, if I get this award, I'm not working for the award. It, I get it. I get this grant. I, but she says, Oh, you are getting all those things. But she's also a very good writer. But I love him, it was a so comparison is Ramanuja. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's what that was Ramanuja. But then, you know. He married twice, he divorced twice, and he married same same person again. You know, it was like his life. It was his life like that. And uh, in Chennai, he had a Dinesh used to make a house for him. He would come and stay for two, three months. And then she, uh, she also used to come, his wife. So whenever you go there, Ravan, your friends have come. I said, look, Molly, I work also, you are also my friend, Yara, I mean, come to me. Rama, okay. So anybody coming, any of our friends can be Rama's friends. Some more or other she had that feeling, unfortunately.